Today we're watching Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. What did you think about this episode? Gosh, Last Jedi, I give it a 4 out of 10, a very low score. Um, lots of problems with The Last Jedi. So in the previous Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, it had lots of problems, but I still enjoyed the journey. It felt like Star Wars. This one, it didn't feel like Star Wars as well as having lots of problems. So it's a pretty low score. The story feels really small. Like it's supposed to be galactic scale, but it feels very small. Uh, the themes are all over the place. Like, is this a simple good versus evil storyline or is everybody that fights bad or is it complicated or it was unclear. Um, and the story is also all over the place. New elements are introduced, old elements are dismissed. You know, story breaking elements are introduced. It's it's all over the place. There's also character problems all over the place. Like Luke, how did he get to this hermit lifestyle? Finn is wasted. Rose, like she's kind of unfulfilled as a character. Holdo is just mean. It's just problems left and right with characters. Um, I do think there's a good movie in there somewhere, but it just didn't come out. Um, and of course, Haldo's maneuver breaks the universe. Kind of lots of problems there. The slow chase was just awful. Didn't make any sense. Haldo and Leia have bad leadership for a kind of no reason. I don't understand that. What was the point of Phasma? Uh, it did look nice though. Generally, it was well acted. I like Kylo Ren. He has a bit of an arc. I like it. Uh, but overall, it's just lots of problems. I don't like it. Four out of 10. What did you think? I give it a three out of 10, <laughs> which was which was a little bit. I mean, it's two to three. I give it a coin toss. Give it a three. Um, so the good thing is that it's Star Wars and I'm I'm so committed to the Star Wars franchise. That it's part of my personality now. I have to watch everything. Um, but it was I mean, <laughs> this movie's a problem. Um, Luke and Layla, the, Leia, the, they're, they're classic from the original franchise. This is the characters that we grew up on that we want them to see them doing well and doing cool things. And we got some of that. Um, a good part of Finn is that he's good at everything, which is good because there are like, critical plot points that need Finn to do his thing perfectly and he does it. So good, right? Um, also, Poe. Poe has this character arc, which is very good. So he starts off this, this hot shot and then he gets broken down and he actually becomes a good leader who's who's conscientious about the lives that he's risking. Very good. I like that. Um, but there are cons in this movie and it's that Finn and Rey, they're, they're just good at stuff. They, they don't really have to struggle at things that they have to learn and develop and then become good at and then finally get to reap the, the merits of their hard labor. They're just, they're just good at stuff. Um, even even Rose is just good at stuff, but she's like a side character. Like, why why does she also have this magic force ability to just just do things great? Very strange. Um, from a physicist's perspective, the physics is broken in this movie. It, it's it's um, <laughs> I I wish I was a consultant on this movie because I could tell them things shouldn't have played out the way that they did it. Um, also, Phasma. I also was irritated at Phasma because Phasma, the actress, was like a big deal at the time. And then and it was like a big deal. She was doing Game of Thrones at the time. It was an important character. It had lots of cool stuff there. Then when they ported her over into Star Wars, it's just it kind of a big old nothing burger. Uh, she got special armor. She got special rank. She got to be in command of people. But also, like, it, just nothing nothing came of it. Um, she, just, she, also, she also didn't even fight that well. She got beat up real quick. Um, there was a forced... forced semi-romance between Finn and Rose. Uh, why did Rose kiss Finn? I, there, I didn't understand why she would do it. it like, felt very uncomfortable. Like, it wasn't it wasn't like there was flirtation going on, escalation, and then it happened. Like, it, she, she did it. I don't know why. Um, Holdo. Holdo is also frustrating for, for seemingly no reason. Like, if Holdo was withholding information from Poe and it made sense why she would do it, then, then okay, sure, sure, strategic, okay, fine. But there was also, like, chipping and attacking for her. I, I didn't understand why, why it would happen. Uh, and then the worst thing of all is that the plot required frequent leaps of faith. You know, you know this feeling when you're when you're watching a movie and you're like, you're like, like what? Like why? Why did that happen? But in order for you to keep going with the movie, you just got to say like, okay, okay, sure, like sure, we'll we'll run with it and then see where the movie goes. Um, I had to do that too many times in the movie, and so that made the movie feel very choppy. And and um, at the end of the movie, I don't. F I get taken out of the emotional journey. I don't feel for the characters because because I'm caught in this loop of of like, but why did this happen? Um, so for that reason, I gave it three out of ten. 
Uh, but still, still, I mean, Star Wars, I'm going to have a roughly <laughs> good time. I guess, I guess numerically a good time for me is 3 out of 10. Uh, so let's, let's see what the good stuff's here.